They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira. And try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Yeah, 
كانت هنا آخر مرة لكنها That man seems happy to bask in the sun. Perhaps I should spare him the trouble of dressing for duty. No, no, no! Give that back! We will all be naked on Judgment Day, brother! That does not belong to you, guard! Tight across the chest and gut. Hopefully, this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry. It has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati.
My eyes aren't what they used to be. Why do I need to learn algebra? I am never going to need it. You! Tell me you have read al -Kindi. I am sorry, Sayyidati. Hey, does no one read anymore? What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Ummu Walad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? Bigger eyes might add to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof, and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, 
If you could just get the book and bring it to my room? It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Are you lost? You cannot be here.
There must be another way in. Fit for a Khalifa. The Garden and its Mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Abu Abdul, Kabiha might have been lax about lateness, but I am not so lenient as she. I am sorry, Farah. It will not happen again. Farah? To you, she Sayyidati, or Ummu Walad. Go about your duties. Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Oh, Farah, he cannot still believe he will take the throne. Have you met his mother? Aratu al-amr ala qusta. Laqad fahim al-mushkila. قال إنه سيفكر فيها ويعود لكنني كلما أراها مجيئة عن أحد النصوص الطبية التي يعمل عليها Perfect timing! I need an honest opinion on my poem. I'm having trouble with the 23rd stanza. What is a stanza? Never mind. فلسطين. There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it, it gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to try it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you 
funny I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? A hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the rooms are all look empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. Hey, what? 
What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. Good to see you. Be welcome, sir. Let us see what you have got. Take a look. Never skimp on protection. Nothing else? I have to go. Please go with you. I think so. What do you see, Enrido? The home of the poetess. Adoring fans. They are very well armed, if so. Let us hope she is home. from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nickname was secret. Things. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. I will do as the Huyun do, sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Hold 
on. There must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. Fate is sealed. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of After the honey drips from her lips, Athalab leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. 
<laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalan to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. There's somewhere else I need to be. Yet another painted mouse. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. Nasty. Oh, I hey, to that... go home. Call the watch! Don't let him get away! Hey, you! Yes, you! Hey, let me out of Where did they run up to? Right, my Wait over there! Want to know?
های شبان was right here. God, help me! A cut purse! Drop me! Help! Oh. I require aid! Hey. My purse is cut! Please, help me! Help! Call out the watch! There is a cut purse about! Show me the path ahead. Should bring him before the Medallion Court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by strict hero statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone.
Secret meetings. Coded names. 